All right, guys, so when you get a motor, let's say both dials are on zero. There's a little pointer on here, and you can see that it says zero, five, 10, 15, 20. When you hook the battery up, or when you hook it up to the power supply, whatever dial is facing upwards controls how many rotations it goes up. Whatever dial is on the lower end, which is green in this case, controls when it stops. I will, um, I'm actually setting up a motor up here right now, and I will show you how to stop and adjust each motor as you go. These are from Light Depth Solutions, and this is a Light Depth kit. I am the greenhouse guru, and uh, these guys have just given us everything we need so that we can continue to be out here and work. I'm really thankful for it. So I just showed you the motor over there with the green towards the ground. On this side, the red is towards the ground because when the motors are side by side, they're exactly the same. One goes this way, one goes that way. So whichever dial is facing towards the ground is how many rotations it will go to the ground. I'll show you how to set this stop timer when it gets down here. I already have this greenhouse completely adjusted, so let's get this one rolled down. And I have to fix a little piece down here. What you want is this bar to roll completely straight with the channel that you have up top. Don't worry about what it looks like when it rolls up. Worry about how straight your bar is when it sits on the top. All right, let's say I want to stop my blackout because I don't like this bar to sit on the ground. You already have skirting up here. So whatever dial is facing towards the ground, I'm gonna put right in front of zero. It's gonna keep turning. As it makes one rotation, this button is gonna click. Boom, clicked, now it's off. If I wanted it to go down one more roll, all I would do is whichever dial is facing towards the ground, I'd click it in one press, like a button, which allows it to go one rotation. Instead of having to turn one little notch, you just press the button in. Same for the top, if it's rolling up, and this is what I call walking it down. So this is where I want my depth to sit. It's gonna stop. I'm gonna clear up some plastic, and it sits nice and straight all the way down the greenhouse above the ground. Make sure that these two bars, that this bar is kicked out further than your clear roll-up bar. So if your clear is rolled up, this doesn't hit it. And I really hope this video has helped. I'll do one more segment of me, of me walking it up to the top. And as I'm at the top, I will be rolling it up, but using the other dial to press the button to get it closer to that ridge beam. And as I'm up there, I hope this makes more sense. I want it rolled down, it's at a stop timer, which means it will not roll any further without me messing with the dials. Hopefully we understand the dials now and we're on the same page. Instead of hooking these wires up to a power supply and doing this, what I do is DeWalt batteries have a plus and a negative sign. Milwaukee's have a plus and negative. Old school batteries have a post. They're gonna have a ground, positive, negative. You can touch these two wires to any 12 volt, 24 volt battery touch them to positive negative and it rolls one way flip the polarity and it will roll the other way no wrong way to hook them up um, hoping these videos help when I get this rolled all the way up once it gets all the way up there about three quarters of the way I turn the dial that's going upwards to zero and what I do is I walk the motor up by pressing the button letting it go one rotation and go click, then I press the button again, let it go one rotation. You always wanna have a little bit of variance. You don't wanna get your roll up really close. I like to leave it 12 inches at least from the center because in the mornings, when these blackouts roll up, this plastic constricts in the cold and expands and becomes malleable in the heat. Um, what I'm saying is if you get a tight roll up now in the sun and you roll it down, you go to roll it up the next morning, it's gonna follow the same amount of rolls, but the plastic's gonna be way tighter and it's gonna roll up way closer to the center ridge beam than you want it to. So really get to know your greenhouse. When you hook it up, leave your roll ups really wide. And then throughout the next days, after you know that it's rolling up in one spot every cold morning, then you can start to adjust it and get it tighter. But I really cannot explain this enough. Don't let your roll-ups get too close to the center unless you have chain cranks. Chain cranks, you can pull that chain 
until it gets to the top center and it doesn't go anymore. These motors are limited to rotations and they are very, very strong and geared down low. So they will rip your depth off of the greenhouse if you do not adjust these to the right spot and really pay attention within the first couple weeks of pulling tarp. Um, I, I just really want to explain that to people because they're like, oh, I said it, it's going to be perfect. It's going to roll the same every time, but that's not the case. Um, here, you can see that I have a little dip right here, but when it gets up to the top, for whatever reason, it straightens out. So don't obsess on what it looks like. When the blackout's rolling up, you want to know that it sits flat and bottom, perfect on the bottom, and you want it to sit perfect on the top. It doesn't matter what it looks like in between as long as it's not too aggressive. If it's all wonky, of course, change it, but let the blackout roll. Let it go to the top of the greenhouse. See where it's gonna stop and what it's gonna look like. Cheers, everybody. Another thing is try not to get discouraged when you're doing motor adjusting. I've been here for four hours and it feels like you're not doing anything and it's probably one of the most tedious uh, tasks of building a greenhouse. Um, I've had pot growers come out on me before and be like, what are you doing just standing around? And then I've had pot growers realize how crucial this part of the thing is. And a lot of people will build their greenhouses, skin them, and then pay us to come out and adjust them because it is a headache. It, I get frustrated at times and, and want to throw in the towel. I've been doing it for a very long time. Don't get frustrated. Stay calm. Don't make a lot of adjustments at the same time as well. All right, phone is on 4%. The dial on the top of the greenhouse has stopped. So what I wanna do is press this dial one time, hooked up to power, and it's gonna roll one rotation. You can see my center ridge beam right here. I wanna get this roll bar as close as I can to that. I usually leave 12 to 18 inches in between. Until you figure out your greenhouse and it rolls smooth, you wanna leave a wide roll up, like I said. So all I'm doing, whatever dial is towards the center, I'm pressing in. And uh, that allows me to walk this motor up, and that's my own terminology. What I'm doing is walking the motor one rotation at a time until I like where it sits. This one's a little wiggly. I'm gonna adjust it, it's not finished, but I just wanted to get this segment in to show you it stopped on its own. I could walk it one more rotation, but I'm not going to because in the morning when this is cold, it's gonna wanna roll up at least four inches tighter. I don't know the exact, I should make a marker, see where it rolls up today, and then tomorrow roll it down, roll it back up early am, and see how far it rolls forward. And I think that, but I just wanna show you guys every little thing that I do so that I can get back in the sales rep seat and that you can build these things accordingly to these videos. Cheers. Last thing, you wanna make sure that your excess plastic doesn't roll over this cup link. Make sure it's trimmed nice and t tight all the way down and uh, don't let it over roll over this because then it creates a thicker surface. This side will aggressively roll before that side. You want everything to stay the same. So make sure that that stays trimmed nice and perfect. Clear plastic sticking out up here. You wanna have your clear plastic only two inches trimmed all the way over. If this blackout grabs your clear plastic because it's not trimmed shorter, it will peel your greenhouse like a sardine can. That's about where you want your blackout to sit. You wanna do skirting on the baseboard all the way down so this blackout overlaps. Some people roll it a little lower. I do not like to have this blackout bar sitting on the ground in the mud. It's not my, not my cup of tea. It doesn't look clean in my opinion. It makes for a messy tarp, um, just a bunch of variables, but just adjusting the last roll up on these two 24 by 98s. And then gonna be wrapping up the PVC hoop houses that are around the corner. That'll be a whole nother segment. DIY PVC hoop houses, stay tuned. We're gonna have more. And uh, if you guys like these videos and you wanna see me put out more, please hit the like button. Give your boy a little boost in confidence. Show me that you're watching. Throw out a hell yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm out here. Help it hold me out. I'm new and I know what to do. Cheers.